Good afternoon. It's Rob with Echo Fine Properties, and we're back highlighting another local business in our community. And business, I gotta tell you, I it's it sounds like a fun one. And as you can see behind me, we got remote control boats. I always wanted one of these as a kid. I never had one. Honest to God, never had one. But remote controlled cars. Let me pull up the picture. Remote controlled cars. Remote controlled airplanes. Uh, Everything from helicopters, drones, plastic models, uh, general hobby items also. So this place has been a fixture in this community in Jupiter, family run business. Again, a local business, the type of businesses that we need to continue to support in our community. And I'm going to throw it out right now. Let me bring it up. Is Alicia Quick, uh, real estate agent at Equifine Properties. Give a wave, Alicia. And Mr. Brent, and I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Is it Trevs? Is that right, Trevs? Let me unmute you. Hold on. Can we unmute your mic? Let's see here. Your mic is stuck. Hold on one second, folks. Sorry. Can we? Brett, can you unmute yourself at all? Let me see. We're, we're, we're frozen. I'm sorry, folks. Hold on one second. Let's see if we can unmute Brett. It won't let me unmute Brett. Ah, oh, boy. Hey, Alicia, can you take a... I, I know you're at the shop. Can you get over there and, and unmute his mic? So let me just let me just continue. A little technical difficulties. That's all fine. So Legend RC and Hobbies, uh, located in Jupiter, uh, right off of India Town Road. Again, they have everything from remote controlled cars, boats, planes, helicopters, pl drones, plastic models. Let me see, bring up some of the pictures that Brent sent me. Do we got Brent's audio? Let's see. Let's see. Good. There we, we go. Sorry about that. So that's uh, technical <laughs> difficulties. It happens. Uh, but we're here with uh, Brent, and you're the owner, and you've been a fixture in this community for, I, I read, over 30 years uh, you guys have had that, that shop. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, the shop has been here since 1984. Um, we're, we bought it about 10, 11 years ago. So we've had it now almost a decade, I guess. And, and uh, we're a general hobby store. We do plastic models, model rockets. We sell the paints. We sell the glues, balsa wood, um, RC cars, planes, boats, drones, you name it, if it's a hobby item, we probably have it. And, and Alicia, let's let's learn a little bit more. So let's let's ask Brett some questions and find out a little bit more about his business. Sure. Brent, what made you decide to open up the hobby shop? I've been in the hobby since 1986 and been flying and doing planes and that since then and uh got back into it really pretty heavy in the early 2000s and it became available and i decided to go for it and started flying helicopters right back in the early 2000s and got proficient at that so you kind of nail every part of the hobby uh it's ever changing the technology is rapidly moving um it's definitely hard to keep up with sometimes We've had, luckily, a lot of business here lately just due to the fact that everybody's been stuck at home and been mm -hmm. doing hobbies or digging out things that haven't been run in a long time and getting them running and different things like that. So it's, it's, it's been an interesting time for sure. Well, that's great. That's great. As um, I am in your shop, actually, I'm in the workshop, so you not only sell products, you also fix them? We, we build them from scratch all the way to minor repairs to soldering something. Um, there, there's a lot of different things you can do. I mean, we work on the cars, the boats, the planes, the helicopters, uh, everything. Drones and start from scratch and build them all the way through to just a simple repair of a broken axle or a broken A-arm or something that on a vehicle like that. I understand. I understand. Um, so if I bought a car here and, um, I do something and it breaks and I bring it back to get it fixed here, do I get a discount because I purchased it here or? 
If it's something small and something simple that we can fix real quick, I'm, I probably won't charge it for the repair. Uh, if it's some major, I mean, the great thing about us is we handle the warranty problems. So say you bought something, you go out and uh, it burns up. No reason whatsoever. Uh, you bring it in, you say, hey, this is the third run, fifth run, this happened. And I said, no problem. I'll take care of that for you. I then deal with the manufacturer where you don't have to. So that that's a big thing that a lot of shops don't do. Um, most of their stuff is all sales final, all warranties handled through manufacturer. That's one of the services I provide among um, a couple other ones. I mean, the repair thing, if it's something simple, if you buy it from me, we explain everything to you. So you're going to learn how to use the vehicle, how the charger works, how the battery chemistry is work, because you have lipos, you got lifey batteries. There's six different chemistries of batteries now. So it's, it's, it's a lot of information in a short period of time for people. But as they use it a little bit, they start to catch on and, and do it. So, I mean, you should leave the shop knowing how to charge your battery how to operate it how to run everything how to make it go and even some of these planes now have gps will they come back and land themselves <laughs> just like a drone they took the drone technology out of it i will even go as far as to help you set that up in the parking lot and get the cal compass calibration done and all that as a, as a service and that's incredible right there alicia alone because you go to uh you know a, a walmart or a, a big box store and you buy these you know rc cars there's nobody there to help you set it up there's nobody there to oh if this breaks come you know it's a runaround usually so brett what you're telling me is you order something from you 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 spend the time with your your uh clients and and show them how it works instead of just trying to figure it out when they get home i guess right Oh, definitely. I mean, I could sell you the most upgraded transmitter and the and the best batteries and all the rest of the thing, but I try and listen to what people actually want. I mean, I'm not going to try and upsell you to something that you don't need or you're not ready for. Um, I would rather see you go out and be successful, stay in the hobby, and have fun with it, and be frustration, frustration after frustration, and not getting anywhere. What's like? What's new on the market? What What are people, kids, adults? What are the? What's the cool new things that are? I know drones, but what What else is out there that people are just love right now? Uh, the, it goes in phases, but it's it's one of those things. Right now, it's uh, speed runs. They're getting these cars 140 mile an hour, 160 mile an hour. Um, the guy that uh, he holds the record is 220 or 230 Get mile an hour car. Here. And um, we're right at 112 when we go out of range of the transmitter right now. So our next step is to move to where we're in the middle of our run and can go twice the distance and keep it going farther. So we're trying to break 130, 140. Where, where do you race those at? you have to go to like a the, uh, NASCAR track to put those on? Where do you race those yeah, at? We, I mean, we do it on the road. Um, we, we pick a nice brand new paved road without the reflectors. I can tell you that because we've hit the reflectors. It definitely uh, launches them. Um, and with no traffic on it. I mean, it's, it's fun. It really is. And there is some videos on my on, uh, Facebook page of it. Alicia, this brings me back to my childhood. I remember with the RC cars, me and my me and my cousins would race and we'd crash them actually together. That's what we used to do. We just like to crash them together. But um, so, what else? I mean, I know I know we got the RC cars, and then you then you have like you know, nicks and knacks for a little project. So tell me about the other stuff that can be found in your store. We have everything: old scratch build, the uh, airplane to. I mean, we have uh, metal strips, uh, tubing, all the paints that you could possibly need, plastic, that kind of thing. Um, it's, there's a lot of material here that people use for school projects. They use wheels and all different kinds of stuff. And um, as you can tell, I'm taking a tour through the shop. Yeah, let's see that. So Alicia's, Alicia's at your shop. This is kind of funny. We have you at the shop and there's Alicia's show. Can you see that video, Brett, that she's showing right now? Yeah. So just talk us through. So you got, looks like, let me, let me. Um, yeah, I mean, on the back board back there, it's a, it's a company, Dubro, but it, from small little machine screws 
to servo extensions to wheels. Um, there's all kinds of hardware back there, small hardware, stuff you're not going to find at a uh, hardware store that you're looking for. Everything hanging on the back wall there, that's all RC car parts. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's two sliders deep. The other oh, one was. Can you see that up there? Yeah, those are cool. All the trucks. Yeah. yeah I mean, you don't find right now, the, You don't find our the biggest stuff. Problem, our biggest problem right now is trying to get the stock back in. Yeah. Yeah. There's a huge gap right now. And there's all the wheels. And Brett, this is stuff that you really don't find in your big box stores. You don't find, I can't find this type no. of stuff in Walmart. You, this is specialized. And if, if people have any special requests, can you try to you know help them find stuff online or through through people that you deal with? You know, I don't know if there's a special yeah, type of plane out there. Or... Quite a bit. Um, I, there was one big Geico boat sitting up there. That one's modified out. And um, obviously yeah. that stuff didn't come through my vendors when we modded it out. But oh, he's trying to break in on hour with that boat. Um, yeah, it's actually right up there on the shelf. But we have planes. What what's the best way? For, what's the Go best ahead. way for someone to get in touch with you if they wanna if they're thinking about hey you know they can stop by the shop? We know that. Where are you located first? Tell us where you're located. On Indian Town Road, in Jupiter, uh, directly across Depot. From uh, it's right behind the Sunoco gas station and Sims Creek Plaza, and we're right next to Brayman, which is another landmark, I guess. Okay. And then what's uh, if, you know, what's the website I can go to and check check some stuff out on? Uh, RCHobby.com. It shows what some of what we have, gives the vendors that kind of stuff. And then uh, and what's the best phone number to reach you at? 561-744-3800. Now I know Alicia already asked this, but I'm asked again. How how did you get started with all this? How did how did this become this hobby turn into an actual I guess career? It's uh, it started with a magazine as a kid. Really, I uh, had a paper route paid for my first RC car. I was a little bit short on an extra battery and a little bit short on chargers. So my dad pitched in on that, and um, I grew up in Iowa, so I had to drive hour and a half to go to the nearest hobby shop to go buy it because back then you didn't have the internet or anything like that you could do the catalogs but i didn't really know about that stuff so i decided to go to a hobby shop and, and frequently that. and you know what I'll, I'll say you know my kids uh they you know video games and a lot of kids play video games nowadays but the joy of being outside with a remote controlled car a remote controlled boat a remote controlled plane it's just it's amazing. It's it's parents. If you're watching this, get your kid out of the house. Get the RC car. Go get the go get the plane. Go get the boat. Now the boat. That's what I gotta get to that quick. The RC boats. I've always wanted one as a kid. I never had one. Tell me how those actually work. I mean, I get how they work, but just explain to me. You're 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 basically racing on the water with a boat, correct? Yeah, and with the new two point four gigahertz, there's more interference on the transmitter, so your range is far. You'll still be able to see it, but you won't be able to tell which way it's going. You'll have control uh, with the brushless technology and the lipo batteries. The speed goes way up. Um, you buy one out of the box, I think seventy five mile an hour. If you run two six cell batteries, which you're running basically twenty two point two volts through it on each motor, oh my God. so it, it, it gets pretty insane quickly. But then on the low end, you still can buy a pool boat for sixty bucks. And then, and then, and then do, do a lot of these uh, do a lot of these new RC cars and RC boats and RC planes. Do a lot of them have the capabilities? I guess with you said like GPS and also camera built-in cameras. I take it and some of them have. Mostly. Yeah, you can put a camera on anything, and you just have to have the goggles set. And they're actually they're reasonably priced now, um, and you can put it right on the front of the car and drive it that way. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos on that too, where they drive around and mess with people with different RC cars. <laughs> and Alicia's in the back room there. It looks like she's got a plane. What's that behind you? A plane? It's bigger than it looks. Now don't drop it. Tell her not to drop it, Brent. Don't. It drop it. <laughs> Look how. I mean. Oh my it's goodness. Like, isn't it? That is big. Yeah, that's huge. 
But the crazy, I mean, the cool thing with that is, is she just picked that up. It's made out of foam. If you crash it, you glue it back together, skewers, toothpicks, you'd be surprised how it all works. But it has a gyro in it. So when the wind is hitting it, instead of being tossed around, it just cuts right through it. It's correcting for you. You don't even know it's doing it. And it makes it feel like a big ball to airplane then. Something heavy. Oh my so God. technology has okay. a long way. Can you hear me, Rob? Yep, go ahead. Okay. One thing I, I like just listening when Brent's talking and, and the knowledge that he has about each part, because normally I just push go and my boat goes or whatever. But uh, um, that has to be huge from the difference of purchasing something in store or at a local shop than ordering online is you're, you're sitting there and you're breaking down batteries to us. So when I purchase something from your pro from your store, then you're going to sit down and explain everything this, um, whatever I do in a buying does, correct? Yeah, definitely. Before you leave the store, we're going to try and educate you as much as possible on the product. Um, obviously, there's about 5,000 YouTube videos on all the products that you can probably look at. Is it going to give you all the information? I don't know. Uh, Remember you told me the story of uh, that boy who had bought uh, a product and you ended up showing yeah. him, uh, explain that to Rob. Yeah, he, he was pretty interesting. He brought a vehicle in and I asked him about the gyro system and, and stuff. And if he turned the TSM on, which is tracks the stability management, he had no idea he had any of those features on there. By a, a fluke, it was actually set at the optimal level. He didn't even know he could turn it off, turn it on. Um, no, there was like three other features in his car that we actually showed him that he didn't even know he could do. So it was interesting because he bought it online and brought it in here to get fixed. And then we wound up popping a couple of parts up for him and he learned a lot for sure. That's awesome. And again, we're, if you, for those of you just joining us on Facebook live, we're here with, uh, uh, Brent Trevs, uh, owner of legend RC and hobbies in Jupiter, right off of uh, Indian town road there. Uh, you know, another local business in our community, you're hearing right now about, you know, the RC cars, all the different stuff uh, that's offered at this store, but it's the customer service that you get. It's the interaction, the one-on-one -on -one interaction, a part breaks. Hey, I need this. Can you, can you look at this? Can you see what it is? Uh, he, he, he'll go on the parking lot and help you set things up. I mean, you don't get that at a big box store. Hey, here's your thing. You get home, it breaks. Uh, let's see if it's under warranty. Brett will help you through this process. Um, again, uh, amazing. Brett, how can, again, one more time, how, where are you located? Tell me where you're located again and how people can get in touch with you by phone. Uh, phone number here is 561-744-3800. Um, you can get in touch with me. Right now we have limited hours. As of June 1st, I think we're going to open back up to uh, full regular hours 10 to 6 monday through friday and 10 to 5 on saturday i think we'll probably remain close for the summer on sunday but we're right on indian town road just east of 95 on the north side of the road next to bremen and right across the street from tim's creek plaza is alicia what's your favorite thing in the shop that you've seen so far i know you're there what do you like oh i I was looking at uh, planes that you could just put together easily, but then I come back and I see that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, Brent, what's your, what's your, out of all the things you sell and all the things you have in your store, what's, what's your most, what do you like the most? The cars, the planes? I mean, you probably like it all, but what's the, what's the thing you really like? Not uh, cars and planes. I got, I got more than I need. Um, uh... Helicopters I like. It's fun. It's definitely challenging. It's, it's a lot of practice. And when you haven't done it for a while, you feel like, oh, wow, I lost a lot of what I could do before. So and, and it's definitely. I know, and I know and, that, and that's the thing of it. I mean, there's kits behind you where kids have to build the kit. I mean, when I was a kid, that's how you built it. It didn't matter if it was an airplane. You built it from blueprints. If it was a car, you built it from instructions. But you knew how to work on it then. So... To me, all of our, myself and all my friends as kids, any of us that were in this, we all became uh, some kind of profession where we had a professional license or something like that. So it, it's it's amazing what it leads to. And the uh, kids, nice. I've seen kids grow up now, 
and uh, what they what it's led them to and what their actual job is now. It's kind of interesting. I agree. And if you remember, I mean, I remember the smelly paints, I call these the paint. Remember, it stunk. It was a terrible smelly paint when you build the cars and paint and do all that type of stuff. But you become an engineer. You're, you're engineering. You're putting it together. Robotics. I know a lot of kids now, nowadays, you know, deal with robotics. But it's a great way as parents at a young age to have a kid build something and use his imagination and creativity and, and, and follow directions is what you're doing. You're following direction and putting pieces together. It's just awesome, I, and and I wish you the best of luck. I I, I mean, places like yours, um, you know, are few and far between, uh, especially Definitely. when it comes to Alicia, like you, like we've seen in it. Brett said it's the, it's the customer satisfaction, the customer, the one on one. You know, you're not gonna get that again at a big box store. Um, this is a great interview. I'm I'm glad you set this up. I apologize for the technical difficulties. We had Brett muted in the beginning, but he's talking now. We got him, and it, you know. Another local business in our community, the the lifeline of our community. He lives here. The, his his family lives here. We need to support local businesses. You know, don't go to Amazon. Don't go to the big box store. You know, head over to Indian Town Road in Jupiter, Legend RC and Hobbies, and grab your Bole. Right, right by Bole. Bole, right, right in there, right. Yep. So, uh, you know. right across from Bread by Johnny. Right across from Bread by Johnny, who we previewed the other day. And, you know, support local. Uh, you know, Brent lives in this community. His family lives in this community. Uh, and, you know, supporting local, we support each other. So, Brent, I want to thank you for joining us today. I want to thank you for telling us about your business. Uh, one more time, give me the phone number. People can call if they have any questions. Uh, 561 seven four four three eight zero zero and i thank you for your time and uh doing this yep. and having me on thank you so much and alicia thanks for setting this up and uh i think she's gonna go fly that plane so just be careful with her out there don't let her fly it into traffic okay <laughs> all right not a problem all right have a good one everybody have a great afternoon yeah, yeah.